Hi, everybody. I thought and instead of waiting until tomorrow to demonstrate how to use the plugins to bring in those AutoCAD files and create the surfaces that we need in SketchUp before we can start doing three-dimensional modeling for the City Garden project, I would do a tutorial and put it online for you. This way you can watch it sometime today. And um, went through this a few times, discovered a couple other things which I kind of mentioned yesterday, but probably need to be emphasized more in terms of the process. Uh, these plugins do a great job, but there is a certain sequence you need to go through to make sure you do it efficiently. And if you do that, I think I can get this whole thing done uh, in about 10 minutes. So we'll, we'll give it a shot. I'll time it as I do this and explain it as I go. So uh, even with commentary, it really is pretty streamlined if you follow these, these few basic steps. So take a look at this tutorial read through it, look, watch through it a couple times so that you can get those steps. I'll try and point those out as I go through. So I'll, I'll get a timer started. We'll give this a shot and see how long it takes. All right, so let's get going. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to import, I already have my um, file set up. I'm going to do the road and curb. Went through this yesterday, so I'm going to zoom out, do a quick select all, and here's where I can start using the plugins. I'm going to choose extend close lines, and in this case, I'm going to do delete short lines at the same time. <clears throat> so in this case, I lost an edge, but it doesn't really matter in, at this point. So I'm going to select all intersect faces with selection, and that starts separating these. Now I can see there's a little gap here. I might have lost that with the delete short segments, or it could have been a gap that was left from the way I drafted it in AutoCAD. But anyway, healing it there automatically separates that, and I've got all three spaces as separate surfaces. <clears throat> okay, so let's keep moving. Let's go to file, import, and now I'm going to go to my paving area, my paving lines, all the things that were on the ground plane. Now, since I have something in here already, it comes in as a group, which is great because what I want to do is enter this group. And I mentioned in class that the arcs are being handled much better this year, and they are. Uh, the one thing I did notice, though, is that the flat arcs aren't. So if I do a get in entity info on this, you can see that this is one segment, and I'd really rather have that about 30 segments. So you can go through and select these arc lines that look really flat and kind of distorted, but there's also a plugin we have that can help you. So if you just shift click and select these lines, I'm just going to go through and select all the ones that are on the arc. <clears throat> and then go up to the plugins menu and choose change arc segments. I can just type a 30 and then it changes all those segments at the same time. So it saves just a lot of time. So once you've done that, now you can get out of the group, right click, select it, choose explode. And then I'll do a select all and do intersect faces with selection. Okay, so that's gonna start creating some shapes right here, even though we don't have a lot of closed forms. So let's keep going, import. Uh, I'm going to do the walls and benches next. And I have kind of the same issue here. These benches are on the arc and some of these walls, I mean, are on the arc. So again, I'm going to just select that whole bunch. Change arc segments, 30. This plugin usually works pretty well. Even if you select a few short or straight line segments, you can see they're still highlighted. It ignores them. If you do too many at once, sometimes it can choke on it a little bit. But if you do a few at a time, it works pretty well. So again, I'm going to right click, explode that, do a select all. I'm going to intersect with faces. Can I like to do this to keep getting SketchUp to rethink the geometry? I'll do another select all, and now I'm going to do extend close lines. So you see 26 edges were, were extended. So it's a good time to do another intersect with selection. And you can see I'm already starting to get you know more of these places and edges or surfaces defined, but I still have a lot of things to work with but we're not done. So let's go to the next one. And we will go to the curved walls. And this is one, since these are pretty nice arcs, I'm not going to do anything other than explode this right into the surface. I'll do another select all, extend close lines. And again, I'm gonna hold off doing the uh, um, delete short lines for right now, but I will do another intersect faces with selection. Okay, so you can see I'm already now starting to get much more of these places uh, taken care of. There are still a few issues here and there, but we'll, uh, we'll get to that when we, we add a couple more things in. Uh, so the next thing I want to do then is, looks like I'm missing the building. We have the amphitheater, and then we'll get to the line. So let's do the building. 
import. Again, I separated this out as, a, as an individual entity. You can see that when I get into the group, there's actually a line. These are some arcs here also that aren't looking very curved. So we're going to add, put that into 30. And what you see is this building wall, it sits up against the back of this retaining wall. And since they sit in the same place, I'm actually going to delete the one that's inside the building group. Get outside here, right click, explode that into place. I'm going to right select over that. Again, choose uh, extend close lines. One edge is extended and then intersect faces with selection. So now I've got that starting to separate. Since there's a gap here, I can look. Now there's a little short uh, segment. So if I can do two things, I can try to move it first. That's kind of the ideal. Again, make sure you hit escape a couple times before you move because something can be selected off screen and then you'll start moving things about that you don't want. So again, now you can see I've already got most of these areas selected. And this is probably a good time since I have pretty much everything in here is to do another select all. And now I go to the plugin and shoot, choose delete short lines. And you can see it erased quite a few. And I'll do another intersect faces with selection. And you'll have to think about this a bit because it's got a few more intersections to deal with. And now we're really looking pretty good. I mean, right now this uh, is not quite working, but I can see I've got a line here that's missing. So, and I've got a couple lines in here that I probably want to take out because they're inside the wall and they might be causing some problems as well. Like this one, this one. So again, I lost a little surface there. I'm going to select over it to my extend close lines. So I didn't have any of those. Delete short lines, nothing. So I'll just do a right click, intersect face with the selection, and that took care of that problem. So I'm sitting pretty good here. It looks like most of these faces are working. So let's get on to the amphitheater. That's kind of the other thing I might do here is just add in a line across here to separate that. It's not absolutely necessary, but now those are two separate faces. The amphitheater is a little different. Um, we bring it in the same way, but what we want to do here is it looks like a real mess because it's all made up of arcs. So once I'm, I open the group, I go inside, select everything, change my arc segments to 30. I do a select all again. Extend close lines, because all those little segments this way are not going to hit those arcs. That's what it's doing. It's extending all those lines. And then I'm going to do a select all again and choose delete short lines. And then we'll use our helpful tool, make faces 1.1. And it says it made 40 faces there. So now I can click on all these individual pieces and I don't have to move anything around. It's automatically connected that. Now, in this case, I'm going to exit the group. And just to make a point of it, I'm going to move this up in the air because this is going to be three dimensional. I'm going to create steps from all those different shapes. It doesn't really need to be draped onto the surface of the terrain after we create it. So I don't need to have that sitting down here and I don't have to explode it and join it here. It's actually easier to deal with it when it's a separate group. OK, so I think I have everything now except those planting bed lines. So that's the last step. I'm going to import that. Planting beds, and this those of you who had this on the same layers as your other lines, you really want to keep that separated because I, mine's probably may even be more complex than yours. But I've got this. I'm just going to explode that. It's all straight lines. And now I'm going to use my plugins. So let's do extend close lines, 44 extended. Let's do that. Select all that. Plugins, delete short lines. Then let's do an intersect faces with selection and see what it is. OK, so uh, this looks pretty good. That's took all those lines, how complex that was. Now, there are a couple places where it looks like it's connected. And I'll have to go back through and figure out what that is. But again, you know, if I intersect that with selection, I can come in here for these few lines and say, OK, I can see those really aren't. Again, hit the Escape key. I'm going to snap that to there, snap that to there. Just fixing a couple of these different issues. For whatever reason, the plugin didn't snap to these. But it started to make that fit a little bit. Sometimes I even come in here if 
you know, if I click on this and I know that line there, and you can use the move tool, that's connected, that's connected, that looks connected. So I'm not sure what's causing that not to work, but in this case, I might just take this line, delete it out of there, and redraw a line since everything else around it is connecting. Um, and then try to let's delete this line too. Some of these lines, the way I had them drawn, they were cutting through and they're not really supposed to be in the walls. So this is okay. But just by shifting that geometry around, oh, I've got a little gap here. Maybe that's the problem. Didn't draw that in. So with that drawn in, let's select around this. Okay, there we go. I think we've got that now. So we got a little connection in through here. And again, there's going to be a few things you need to clean up. But if you come in here, just redraw a line in there. Now that's two, three separate objects. Okay, so there's the whole city garden. I've got 10 minutes almost on the nose with commentary to get that completely done. So it could save you a lot of time. But again, that sequence of going through and bring in <clears throat> one group of objects at a time, fixing the arcs, if you have those these flat arcs, adding more segments to them while they're still in the group, and then once you fix the segments, uh, explode them back in, do the intersect surfaces with 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 selection, and uh, use the extend short lines as you're going along. But hold off on using the delete short lines until you get things filled in. Otherwise, if you have a bunch of little lines like these hanging out here before the building's in, it will start deleting those lines because it sees them as just stray lines that are not connected to anything. So the extend short, extend close lines is one that you use all the way through the process, but hold off on the second one until you get most of the hanging lines connected to some other geometry. And that way, uh, you know, like we saw, it actually eliminated a little segment down here, but you can fill those in easy enough and the geometry will heal. So hopefully that'll help you look through this a couple times, follow the sequence. And uh, if you use those plugins this way, it'll sort, save you an enormous amount of time. It'll be really helpful for future projects when you're starting from an AutoCAD base. All right, thanks.